Hi everyone, my name is Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now, uh, a couple of days ago I released a video with regard to how to set up a trim as a three position switch. Now I wanted to do a follow up of the, on that because I came up with different uh, ways of using those uh, trim switches. So let's take a look at Companion and then we will switch over to the radio and I'll show you the settings on the radio in case you don't use Companion. So let's go and have a look. Now let's open up the trim momentary. Now the first thing we need to do is to go to the flight modes and with all of these switches you will need to go down to the T5 trim and disable it. It will say own trim and you will need to disable that. That's everything we need to do in our flight modes. Now let's switch over to the logical switches. Now I do have three types of switch I've set up here to show you. There's probably many more that you can do, uh, but there's only one that we need logical switches. So let's have a look at the computer again. And you can see here, I've set up and trim up, and then that's logical switch one, logical switch two, and trim down. And then I've made that into a sticky switch by saying on logical switch three, sticky, L1 and L2. That turns that into a, a sticky switch. Now we can move on to the mixes. So, but first let me demonstrate the different switches. I've set them all up to three different channels so we can have a look at them at the same time. So if I hit the model key and I demonstrate. So I've used uh, trim T5 here. So let's take a look at what's happening in number five. So if we watch channel five, if I click the button and hold it, channel five goes to full, but your servo would go to full throw and then it comes back to the middle. So there we go. But if we go to the bottom trim and we click down, it will go the opposite way. So that is two momentary switches on that one trim tab. Now let's take a look at channel six and see what's going on there. Now this one, if we watch six carefully and we click up, it's now working as a normal switch because now it's gone to full throw. If we tap that again, nothing will happen. Six stays where it is. But if we go to the down trim, it will go down again. So we now basically got an, an extra switch. Click uh, up uh, for, if you like, up for on and down for off. Then if we take a look at channel uh, seven and see what's going on there. Now with this one, with the switch in channel seven, I wanted this one. So whenever you pushed, if you pushed the trim tab forward or back, it went from zero to full throw. So let's take a look. So if we watch then channel seven, click, you see it's gone up if I hold it. So in other words, the momentary switch goes for the full range of your servo, but it also works the same way if you hit the, the, the down trim. So with this one, it doesn't matter whether you push the trim forward or back, it will go to full throw. Now let's take a look at the mixes we use to complete these switches. Okay, so the first one you can see here is for the two momentary switches, one working up, one working down. So if we double click, and you can see the mix there, it's max, and you're gonna, the weight will be standard 100, offset zero, and you are just gonna pick the switch, trim five up. And the second mix for channel five will be minus 100 is the weight, and you will then pick trim five down. And that's all you will need to do to implement that switch. So you'd have two momentary switches. Right, let's take a look at the next one. And the next one is uh, up on and down off. So if we look, take a look at the first one, this is where we need to use our logical switches. So we have got the source is max, the weight is 1000, and we are now gonna pick up the switch at the bottom is gonna be logical switch three. Uh, we say okay, and your second line of that uh, channel six, is again source is max weight nil minus 100 and then not the switch will be not logical switch three and the next switch is where the throw goes to either full up or full down let's have a look okay so we're going to click the first line and the source is max the 
weight is 100 and the offset is 100 and this is trim up we go to our second one second line and it's source max weight 100 offset 100 and then trim down okay and then we need to make this work we need to have a, a third line which is source max the weight minus 100 and that's everything we are then good to go so there are the mixes we need to set up so let's take a look at this on the radio itself now let's switch over to my tx16s so we're going to hit the model button and first thing we're going to have a look at is the flight modes and let's go have a look there we go now here we need to go across to you can see at the top it's it's the four main control trims and then we go over to trim number five you need to turn that from colon zero to dashes which uh, disables the trim function now the next thing let's go across to the logical switches that we need for one of our uh, switches and you can see logical switch one we've got and and then the trim switch up l2 logical switch two and um, five down and then we've got logical switch three which is the sticky switch which is then our logical switch one and logical switch two now let's go back to the mixes for each of those so i can show you on the screen so let's go to the first mix and you can see we've got max 100 percent this is for uh, mix uh, channel five uh, offset zero diff zero and you just pick the trim switch up and the second line of that mix is sources max minus 100 percent weight zero offset zero diff uh, diff and then switch trim switch m5 in the down position then we go on to number six which is the on and off switch um, the channel we've got that on channel six so we've got the source max weight 100 percent offset zero diff zero and now we have to pick logical switch three the second line is again max is our source weight is minus 100 offset zero the diff zero and this time not logical switch three that completes that mix and then the final mix if we edit the up and down one which is sources max weight 100 percent offset 100 percent diff zero and then switch in the up uh, the trim switch in the up position you of course could use t6 if you wanted to as well uh, the second line of that code of that programming is sources max weight 100% offset 100% diff 0% and the um, trim switch in the M5 in the down position and then to complete that mix that we need to use add another line and that is max and it will be sources max weight minus 100 offset 0 and diff 0 and no switch so let's demonstrate those by hitting the model, bu um, model button. So what we can do now is if we watch the channel five, we go up and if we hold the, uh, the servo would be at full throw. If we let go, it goes to the middle position. And if we go down on the trim, it now goes uh, full the opposite way. So your servo will be centering on number six we are it's acting t5 is acting as a switch you see if we click up it will keep staying on if we click down it will stay off so on and off and then the final one the channel seven you can see we've got a momentary switch going the full from uh, the full throw of the servo and up and then again if we do it the opposite way it does exactly the same thing so you can see it doesn't matter which 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 way we push this button it will still operate the servo completely 
Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.